Hey Larry, do we have any time before the video starts? Yeah, sure. In a couple minutes. Okay, anyway, I wanted to tell you about the results. Aside from what we've just been talking about, yeah, I, I, wanted, I wanted to tell you about the results of the research that I've been doing about boosting our YouTube clicks. Because, like I was saying before, it's all about clicks. That's right. Yeah. So, what would what, you, you find out? Well, I, uh, I discovered a couple secrets here. Um, I found out, and this is 100% true, that you can include certain words in ads to increase your click rate. Oh, is that like, you know, uh, dentists hate this one weird trick or, you know, earn $500 an hour or whatever it is, you know what I mean? Okay, yes, right, but, uh, okay, in a way it is like that, but but what, what the article I was reading said is that it, whatever your, your your ad copy is, if you just sprinkle certain words into it, the ad is going to do better than it would without those words. Isn't that crazy? So, magic words, so to speak, abracadabra. Well, these are power words, Larry, and 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 you're close with the abracadabra. But here's here's four that I, that the article cited: you, y o u, because, now, and instantly. So all we all you have to do then is is write a sentence with those four words, like you watch this videos now because you'll be happy instantly yeah you see there you worked them all into one sentence Larry. An avalanche of clicks like, are headed our way I like I like the way you did that <laughs> and, and you may be onto something because you know yeah exactly that's like marketing magic dust you just sprinkle them into the script and away you go oh man we're ready to rock I can't wait well Larry let me tell you this I'm gonna go one step further than that all right this is an election year, right? We can use political words to increase our click rate. So what's the best words to use? Get this one. This is a natural. This is a no-brainer. Trump. Oh, all right. Except you're going to make half, half the people sad and half the people happy to do something like that. Well, you're right about that, Larry. Exactly. And for balance, then, we use the word Biden. Oh, all right. So you're just going to put that in the title of the video, Trump, Biden, and... Well, not in the title of the video, but we'll work them into the oh, script. Oh, like you just did. Like I just did, yeah. Oh, you're genius. Wow, yeah, yeah I'm like... Uh, you're, way, you're, uh, as an influencer, I've got to tell you, you're way ahead of you. So you, you did catch on to that, and, mm. and that is very cool. But that's not all that I'm thinking of, Larry. I want to take it one step further. All right. We're really getting into some far-out stuff now, I feel like. Yeah. Aliens, free yeah. money, what? No, 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 be serious. We're going to throw in KFC Jr. Wait a minute, what did you say? K KFC, KFC Jr. KFC like, Jr. You're talking about the fried chicken guy? Chicken guy. The no, Kentucky the, guy? No, the leading third, the Larry, come on. No, he's the leading third party candidate. That's our, our. Oh, wait a wait minute. Wait a minute. Wait. wait. You're talking about. KFC Jr. You're talking about the Kennedy guy. Robert. Right, Kennedy. right. You said KF KFC Jr. Who's that? You know what? Yeah, who is KFC Jr.? That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's the guy, the Kentucky Fried Chicken guy. Colonel Sanders? Yeah. He's dead. For decades. Dead for, yeah. Uh, a decades, really? He was alive in the 80s? I made a donation to the KFC campaign on their website. Oh, my goodness. They must have got you with their magic words. Because I don't know anything about a KFC political campaign, but if I were you, I'd expect to see some... Uh, chicken coupons showing up here I just did a Google search while you were talking there and you're right the colonel died in 1980 I might be winging it here but any chicken parts from 1980 are gonna be pretty tough to chew on well that's a very funny line Larry but I'm sick about this because I'm out, I'm out 50 bucks well look at this you, you you're you're a member in a very exclusive club of KF's political supporters I, I don't know, Larry. I, I just got to tell you, I'm as mad as a hen about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to work that one in myself. You got it. Okay, anyway, uh, enough of the chicken jokes. Are we ready to start this video? Yeah, I think... And they're going to... The producers cut that all out, right? Yeah, they're not they going to leave that banter in. This, okay, yeah, very good, very good. Then let's get started. Back. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Pure to Spring software channel. This is our, this particular video is our summer smorgasbord. It's a collection of really cool tips for a hot summer. 
Mm-hmm. I'm Ernie Zor, and with me is my good friend, Larry Household. All right, Ernie, thanks. Hi, everybody. I want to welcome you back to the show as well. And uh, we're going to start by talking about some operating system stuff, right? The Windows Explorer and uh, Finder in Mac. It's good for finding like system files, hidden application data, things when you're looking for on the computer and you're saying, I can't find it. Sometimes it's not that you don't know what you're doing. It's that the operating system has hidden the files from you. Absolutely, Ernie. So, and more and more, it it does that. So when you go to look for a folder, it's just not there. So if you're troubleshooting issues or you can't find something, knowing how to find hidden folders is a a useful tip. In that vein, I'm going to slide over the computer here. Oh, man, you're going to put something in front of that beautiful desktop? I am going to demonstrate it. Yeah, watch me do this. I'm going to go, I want to go into File Explorer. Okay. Normally, I would have an icon, and I probably do somewhere up there. Uh, But for anybody who wants to do it, You could just go in the search box and type file, and look what File Explorer comes up. I didn't have to type the whole thing in there. Mm -hmm. Our best friend from from back in the day. Yep, I'm clicking on there, and there's File Explorer. Now, what did I want to do? I wanted to show, oh, okay, hidden files, all right? right. I'm going to go to the View menu, click that, drag it down to Show. Yeah, you got to drill down a little bit, huh? They wouldn't want to make it too easy. Oh, they're always trying. To you see this hidden items, and it, and I'll I'll hold the icon over it or the cursor over it so you can see show or hide the files and folders that are marked as hidden. There. Now, I don't know if this looks any different. Uh, I don't think it does. Yeah, because you're in your home directory. They were already exposed anyway. But if I go back and look, you'll see now that. Well, hidden items is checked and and so that lets me know that we are disclosing our hidden files I think they show up as gray gray colored files and there are I don't I don't believe there are any here C drive or something you'll probably see some C drive yeah so like all these up here okay yeah Larry's pointing yeah to these folders recycle bin normally uh, you wouldn't see these particular folders, but if you do what I did and, and, and show hidden files, now you can see everything. You know what? We don't want to be leaving Mac owners out anymore. Larry, why don't you go on to the Mac? Huh? Yeah, let's show them how to use Wait, it how do can it we on do this? Finder. We need you to... showed me this actually, Ernie, and I, I was very pleased because I'm a Mac user, but kind of a newer Mac user, so certain things, it, it, it makes it easier, but at the same time, certain things get more complicated because they try to make it too easy okay Larry what I did is I got you all set up here oh all right great this is real quick while you were talking I I switched it over so that now the screen that we're looking at is actually the Mac screen which such a nice our, desktop our viewers can't see it but it's behind us actually yeah but we're remoted into it and so there it is all right so um, the max version of explorer yeah there you go it's down here in the corner uh-huh and it looks like this like these two faces looking at each other it's, it's always it's looked like that ever since i can remember but when you open it up it's not quite as useful as as windows explorer because it only so shows you certain things and it's based on i'm guessing what you normally use or whatever the defaults are for the operating system. Now on mine, personally, on yours, you're kind of lucky. I see documents there. Oftentimes under under here, documents won't be there. So I'm like, well, and then I'm trying, and oh, and where's the C drive? Like, what if I save something to my hard drive? It's not even on here. Yeah. So, but you showed me, I just go up here. Now I might have put some of those in favorites over the, over the years. Yeah, you're Um, a much more savvy user than me. So I, yeah, I don't, I don't just, know that mine's out of the, what do they call it, out of the box. I don't um, have time but, but to go close. into my computer and set favorites. It should just do that. Yeah, right. Anyway, that's just me. This thing, I was asking and we were talking about, it, I was like, well, so if I wanted to get to documents, how would I, quote unquote, go there? And you're like, yeah, you go to the go menu. Right. Which if you look up here, sure enough, there it is. And once you hit go, it's got all these different options that are the the tried and true options that you need like computer so i can click on this takes me to my computer right onto your hard on there. drive yeah there. look at that yeah that that is a gold mine for for navigating on there and or it's for me, surprising how 
there's a lot of Mac users who are not familiar with that menu. Yeah, me included. It's so. well, it's kind of it was kind of hidden away. You know, it wasn't very obvious. And some of the things that you you wonder, well, shouldn't that be a default? Well, it's not a default. You got to go to the Go menu. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing more aggravating than coming down here and being like, oh, I just saved a file somewhere. It's on my C drive or whatever. Coming here and not seeing it to choose from. Mm hmm And so, but now I know. I'm like, oh, I just go up here. Yep. And then go to computer or, you know, shared, whatever. It's available to me. So, so I'm going to switch back to the Windows computer. There's GPT. GPT. So we're always talking about GPT and, and the way you can use it. And I'm always trying to find new things that you can do with it. And I recently ran into a situation where I had a bunch of addresses that I needed to break out. You know, and you usually have like a, a, a spreadsheet of addresses. You've got columns, one for, for you know, street, one for state, city, sure. code, all that yep. stuff. Well, I had addresses. They were all in one column all together. And they were handwritten, so like, not hand, like hand typed. So they were all different. Some of them were like in all caps, or some of them would spell out the state, and some of them would use the abbreviation of the state. Oh, yeah. Some yeah. of them would put commas, you know what I mean? Some of them had a company name, some and of them didn't. And there was didn't. one address on each line of the file? Yeah. But it was all run together. Yeah. All the fields were run I'm gonna together. Show I get you. it. I'm going to show it. you, actually, because oh, you right. said you saved that to downloads, right? Yeah, I did. And there, there it is. is Larry's, Larry's address. Is... Can we see this? Yeah. So here, we, here's, here's a great uh, yeah, example. Double. Yeah, there you go. So now we've got this. Uh, we've got this one column. Larry, hang on a second for our viewers. What I'm no. Uh, I think I was doing something where I really made it super small, and just so that people can see better. Yeah, we don't have good vision like you. We'll blow it up. Yeah, right, like me. So I kind of like clean these up. These aren't real places, but these are similar to the addresses I had. So you can kind of see here, like, you know, this is this is kind of a weird one. 230 County Road 257 Fulton Missouri like oh yeah 79 these are different company names some of them are on capitals you can see here like California New Jersey spelled out Missouri spelled out mm -hmm. these aren't so anyway you get the idea right so if I take this so what I was like I'm trying to clean these up and I've got like a thousand of them I'm like oh my gosh this is gonna take me forever I'm like I wonder if ChatGPT can do it so I come into ChatGPT which is here. And I built this address formatter. It was just for me. And, you know, we kind of talked about this before with the adoption software. I'll give you a quick preview of it. If, yeah. Oh, I can't do it on here. So anyway, basically I just told her, I was like, hey, I'm going to give you a list of addresses. I want you to clean them up and separate them out into columns into a CSV. Uh -huh. And, you know, I gave it certain rules to look for, like zip codes look like this. Like, keep in Oh, mind. you did? Yeah. Oh. I was like, because or else it would get confused. Because I tried to just do it in regular GPT, and it kind of got it, but it didn't. Oh. So I gave it some instructions. I'm like, the first set of numbers you see are usually the beginning of a street address, and that kind of thing. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah. So then I built this GPT specifically to do that. Right, so now if I come in here. So you gave it a set of criteria, and you tried it out, and if it wasn't what you liked, you, you said no, no. That's right. It, yeah, yep. you know, that's and I a, kept feeding it in there until I got it right. And, and that that right there is going to be the, the big difference between the old generation of doing single line Google searches versus AI type searches. Yeah, right? that's, or you're going to have to work it with it in a nutshell. And, and clean it up. Because people will try something and be like, oh, it's stupid. Well, yeah, hmm. but you can teach it. All right. So well, you copy and paste so it, paste it, it in, there. in there. And then I just hit go. All right. Now it should recognize that. And then it automatically built it out. Oh as a my, CSV. my! Look at that. I mean, it's doing it in real time as we're watching it. But yeah, look how it cleaned it up real nice. Sure did. And it recognizes the, you know, where the 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 street information. Larry, I got to tell you that I think there's a lot of times when a law office maybe they want to send out a mailer or something, and they have a list of names and addresses, yeah, and right. uh, they needed to maybe they need to be reformatted in some way. Uh, you know, it's always something needs to be done. It seems. Yeah, right. Uh, this is busy work, right? Yeah, look at forever. look at what a beautiful job that did. Wow, very mm -hmm. cool, very cool. Yeah. So that's so anyway, this GPT exists. But then you and I were looking for it, and then I wasn't the only one that thought of this. There was about like 20 different address formats. Oh, yeah, right. Exactly, yeah. But if you use ours, are, you are know each one of those uh, can 
we could have used any one of those? I don't or, know if they Or do you have to pay for them? No, those are all free, but I don't oh, know if they have wow. the same instructions as me. I don't know what exactly they do. So. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, it might be worthwhile if you have an idea. Just go in there and, and, and check and see if there's something there already I, instead I, of reinventing the wheel. I should have done that. I didn't even think of it, but yeah, I, it's a good and, idea. and I wonder also, can you... If you if you if you um, open or buy or whatever the 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 GPT, can you modify it or are you stuck with whatever it is? No, because you can see you got mine on your computer, and that's what because I came over here to try to modify it. It's not there, but on my computer, oh. the edit is there. So, ah, I see. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I wanted to discuss a subject I've been wondering about for a long time, and that is VPNs. I guess we should explain what they are, right? Sure. So VPNs are basically secure, creating a secure connection for your internet. So you're taking all the traffic that goes to, in and out of your office or your home through your internet connection, and you're moving it through a VPN. So you're moving it through a, a, a private, that's what it stands for, right? Vir, virtual private connection. I believe so, that, yes. That all the data is moving through. So it doesn't, if someone were to look at your data coming out of your office or home they wouldn't see anything because it's all going to this vpn and then out into the into the world and they do see everything in case you think they don't because i i was talking to a salesperson from um i don't know if i should say the name but spectrum time warner whoops <laughs> and good uh, advertising for that. yeah they wanted to they wanted to sell me i think something uh, related to the internet or cable tv or something like that and i said no i'm not interested and he said, well, what do you normally watch? And he said it in a way that kind of raised my eyebrows. And I thought, wow, it almost sounds like... Uh, you know. Yeah, he yeah, already right. knows what I'm watching anymore. So anyway, the, the conversation went on. And yeah, I, I would guarantee you that guy knew what I was watching. Whatever I did on the internet, he knew. I'm not holding Department of Defense secrets or anything like that, so it's not a big deal for me. All your secrets are from the the, the fried Larry, chicken. Sh fried chicken. Party. Don't say anything about the fried chicken guy, Larry. Uh, but any, yeah. So I don't even know what I was going to say. Right. So yeah. So we were. So what we were talking about was using the VPN. Oh yeah. Okay. I, what I was going to say is okay. So I don't do anything important like that, I suppose. But a law office does. So the issue of these VPNs may be more relevant to them than they are to me, than it is to me. Yeah, that's right. So anyway, what I was thinking. You right. were thinking that it might be a good idea to, to demo this stuff. I guess you're going to get, you, you must have done some research. I did you, a little bit. Yes, right. Okay, so. So what's a good VPN service? I am going to the NordVPN official website. Yeah, you know what? I That's watched, a famous one. Yeah, it is. I've, right. I've heard of them I before. watched a YouTube video and the guy was seemed pretty knowledgeable and and this is what he was using and he so let's let's go with it. I get the deal, huh? Yeah, see they're that's they're doing their marketing. They're they're getting you uh, hooked up. They're trying to hook me, but I was already hooked, so yeah, whatever I can get off of it. What is this? I'll click on get the deal. What do you what should I go? Ultimate? I would go with whatever the cheapest is. Oh really? Well, I don't see any difference. It says secure high-speed VPN right down here. That's all oh, we yeah, need. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And this other stuff, I don't know what all that stuff oh, is. Oh, yeah, right, okay, I see. Wow, okay. Hey, at least one of us is paying attention, Larry. <laughs> uh, well, not, I wish it was me, but it's not. I'm not, okay, I'm not yeah. calling for... Uh, this, is, this is kind of uh, duplicative in a way because I've already got um, anti-malware right. running and things like that. Yeah. So... Uh, Let's yeah. Let's go get basic. Oh, what was that one? How important was that one gigabyte stuff? Did you see that? Uh uh. What did it say? Go back. Let me go back. Get basic. Yeah, one gigabyte versus three oh, versus twenty. Oh, that's that 20. Sally man. I don't know what they're talking about? I have what, no what idea. What is what that? that? It's the Sally eSIM data gift. That was the thing that you originally clicked on. Well, first of all, change all this and go up to the top. See how they're on your two-year plan? Oh, we yeah, want to switch it to a monthly plan. Oh, the price went up, huh? Yeah, by a buck. Yeah, it goes up probably because when you pay by month. I understand. But that's yeah, for a year. You want monthly. Because what if you don't want to keep it? Like no, and you know what? I'll just pay the 60 bucks. It's for, oh, all right. Yeah, it's 60 it. for the whole darn year. Right, you know, yeah, what yeah, the hell? Right. I, I want to you try it out. You get a decent disc discount. Right, and I want to try it out because maybe my opinion will change after a couple months. You yeah, know? right. For 50 bucks, it's a tax deduction, isn't it? 
Should oh, be. Yeah, okay. Right, because we're doing this for... Work purposes. Work purposes. You're hearing it happen right here. Uh, okay, enter an email. Yeah, we're, we're literally working as we speak. Okay, yeah. I don't, do you need it? I don't think you need a dedicated IP. That would be if you had like a web server or something. Yeah, why are they trying to buffalo us with all these, you, you want the... Yeah, they're all, that's where you're going to get that anywhere you go. Yeah, you know, you're right. I went to an eye doctor one time or a surgeon or yeah. something. He said, hey, uh, what type of a lens did you want? <laughs> yeah, like, right. I know what kind of lenses, you know, and yeah, then yeah. he shows me one and he says, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then he says, but and then we have the good one, you know. Yeah, right. No, what am I? What do you think? I want the bad one, you know. He's like, do you well, want me anyway. to put it in every month, or yeah. do you want to pay for it yearly? Sorry about that. I, I didn't mean to go off on a tangent, but wow, that's the. But that was a true story. Oh, I go to the. I, I hate. I hate true stories anyway. But I take the dog to the to the vet, and they're like, "Oh, do you want this, that, and the third? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Your dog might die, Larry, if you don't. That's what they say. Yeah. They're like, well, what if your dog dies because yeah. you don't do it? Because like, of you, Larry. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Ah, oh, the guilt is coming down. I'm like, all right, here's. Okay, yeah, here's my card. <laughs> here's my credit Whatever card. Whatever it's got to do so yeah. that I'm not responsible oh, for this yeah. dog keeling over. Okay, I should have been filling out these things. I think that's all good to go. How are you going to I got to put in my credit card. Uh-oh. Mm, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna hide this. I assume. I don't even want to look at this. The, or the producers need to. Uh, what? No, Larry. Oh wow, yeah, it does show everything. You got like an OnlyFans. Larry, I, I don't know. I might have to. We might have to do the secret handshake or enter the circle of trust or something. Because <laughs> you're trust. seeing everything now. This is. This is the equivalent of pulling someone's pants down, oh, really. The circle of trust. Yeah, right. The credit card number with the C. Yeah, CD, right. CD, and CD yeah, every number. the whole ball of wax was there. It's processing right now. Why wow, do I have dubious credit that it would take that long to process? Oh, that's a good question. What's well, NordVPN? Maybe it's way over on the other side of the. What does that say up in the corner? Police alert. Hold for police. No, I'm. I was only kidding. I made that. I try that out on on the grocery store clerks, and they <laughs> they can't really see the screen that I'm looking at. Oh, that's and what when you I said. say that, oh my gosh, the different reactions. <laughs> that's a good one. I have yeah, to try that. Every once in a while, somebody go, yeah, sure, you know. But most of the time, I really get them. So on you kind of look at it confused. Yeah. And you're like, why yeah, does right. this say to yeah, call what? the police? Yeah, right. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Confiscate card. Call the police. That's what it says. I'll try that next time. I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could raise a bail for you no matter what. Okay, it took a long time, but there it was. Payment in progress. Right. Okay. Activate your Nord account. Okay. So How about if I sign in with Google? I guess that would work. That's the same idea. Ernie. Continue. You know, I just signed... I just uh, did something where the... Um, Where the uh, computer looks at my face. Oh, really? And and that, and I don't have to type in a password. Oh yeah, that's how phones and I, are. I'm looking up there now. Where's my camera? I don't know. How, you know, I think does I it have a camera. Accounts linked. Okay. Oh, you got to press this here. I think. No, no. Hold off. on a second. It's missing. All right. Gotta be laying on the here floor. it is. It's right here. Oh yeah, all right, there it is. Yeah, it slides down there. Oh. That's nice. That's actually pretty cool. Whoops. Oops, sorry. All right. We're dancing around. <coughs> yeah, no. If we ever do the the P and P, the picture and picture. Oh, that's how we. Would that's do how it. you would do it, right? Well, once you're an influencer, we're gonna have to. Wow. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> We're gonna want to okay, see so where are we now? This is that's it. That was it. That easy, huh? Yeah, download it. Oh, download you it. Yeah, install okay, download it. it for Windows. Because once it's installed, then it's gonna grab hold of all your uh, data and push it through. I really now, uh, I should say, if if you really are into this kind of thing, you can buy routers, like boxes, basically that you can install in between your cable connection and your network that'll have all this stuff built in, and then it'll just. You know, you basically configured in that box. Well, you know, that's a good point, Larry, because one of the things that I had asked uh, when I was inquiring about this is I said, is this like a um, antivirus now? Am I going to need one for each machine? Uh-huh. Right. And they said, nope, nope, this 
whatever it is, it it um, yeah, that's it covers your your whole too, thing, your you, whole shooting match. Yeah, well, everything that's on your network will will work with it. This is just the ordinary. You got to make sure you read all that, Ernie. You know, I did. I was now you now the only way you can take them to court is if you go to Maryland. I was committing it to memory right then and there. Where do we go after this? I think that's it. I mean, we're just demonstrate getting it installed and then. You know, test it out. I assume we're going to follow up with another uh, uh, video on how it worked for you. Yeah, right, for sure. You know what? The the producers can cut this down. Oh yeah, people don't have to watch. The, yeah, the, we don't uh, want to sit Microsoft here and watch C plus plus the... 2015-22 redistributable. Yeah, watch the progress bar. Uh... Okay, enjoy next. Wait, wait, wait. What's this whoa, at whoa, the whoa, bottom okay. here? Install, Install the, the browser, browser extension. extension. Included, it says. I'll go with it. <clears throat> oh, oh well, no. I guess yeah. that. I guess that's the end of the video, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is the end of the video. Well, now, now I wasn't install it. I wasn't even thinking about the end of the video, but what <laughs> what I was thinking is that uh, all those uh, separate windows, like I was showing you, this, this all earlier. Bang. Yeah, right. That's it. I'll have to reset them all. Well, okay. we, can, we can follow up uh, with the next video on, on how it works. I mean, you showed people how to get it. That's right. It. This this has been, it, it says, installed successfully. It's yep. a done deal. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I am going to check no. I'll restart the computer later, and I'll click on finish just so that we can finish up the video. How, how are we? Uh, we're at the end of the. We're at the end of the show. Yeah, that's right. So that, what, what was it? That. That was the smorgasbord. That right? was the. Uh... Oh no! Yeah, we didn't talk this. Okay, let's let's quickly do that. Okay. Uh, I yeah. Lastly, let's discuss the subject. I've been wondering. If, go oh. back, go back, because we were talking about addresses, and so this this fits nicely with my address formatter. Where do we begin that? Then? Right here. All right. Earlier we were talking about, or we were demonstrating that address formatter you mm -hmm. called it, and that was very cool. And speaking of addresses, I I had heard this week. Have you heard about the USPS Informed Delivery Program? It's a neat service that lets you see previews of your mail before it arrives. I think that's uh, yeah. You were telling me of this, and I thought that was such a modern thing that it was so awesome. Yeah, you know what's cool about it is they're scanning it already with the barcodes and everything. So as long as they're scanning it, what this program does is it lets them send you a copy of the scan. You know, I don't usually get involved with stuff like this because, uh, you, you know, this one, this company wants you to participate in this. and Yeah, right. It, it's just too much. To never but, I, yeah, I went with this one because I just was curious about it. And uh, every morning, at, I think it's... And this is, just to clarify, this is through the postal service. Through the post office, yeah. yep. And, and every morning at 7.30 a.m., they send me an email uh, that, is, that is actually a series of images of each piece of mail that I'm going to get. Now, I'm not, I'm not getting uh, the insides, but they're, sh they're, they're, they're showing you the outside. Right. So, you know, but, but you can look at everything. Look in your yeah, mailbox, this, yeah exactly. You this is junk. This is junk. This is junk. This yeah. is junk. Oh, this is interesting. That sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of cool. And that's, and that, do you have to pay for that? No, it's, yeah, and that's the good part about it. It's free. No so, kidding. Yeah, it's really So nice. anybody that gets mail from the USPS, which is all of us, mm -hmm. can, what, call them? Or go to their website? How's it work? How'd you sign up for it? You know, Larry, it's a good question. I don't know. I'm sure that you could just Google USPS Informed, informed Delivery. Informed Delivery. That's, that's what, what it's called, called. Okay. right? And the, and that'll. I'm gonna that'll, do that. I'm gonna look that it. up, and I'm gonna report back in the next video. You can talk about your your VPN experience, and I'll talk about my Informed Delivery experience. Yeah, right? there you go. Because especially like if you're not, if you don't, if it's to an office and you're not in the office for a while for some reason or can't get to the mailbox, or if you're at home, and you go on vacation or something. You at least know all the mail that's coming in, right? That's right. Even if you hold the mail, you're still seeing it. Uh huh. Okay. And and uh, just to, you know, I just happened while you were talking, I was able to to get up to the one that came today. I think at 7:34 a.m. Oh, and no you get to see what well, I'm going to get, or I have already gotten in the mail, and I didn't see it yet. Is these six items 
what they know when you're a, uh, an animal lover, so I'm going to get one item, mm. two items, two items related to uh, pets, three items related to pets. Oh, man, you are okay. an animal lover. That's yeah, it. Right. That's really cool. Yeah, isn't it? All right, I want to get out I of I think there. the first time we talked about this, I was like, wouldn't it be great if you could just check next to it and be like, no, no, don't, yeah, right. don't, don't bother don't bringing bother. it to the house. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw that episode on Seinfeld. Not the episode, but the, a section from it, and that was pretty funny where uh, Kramer Newman? goes to the post Yeah, no, Kramer goes to the post office and says, no, I don't want any mail anymore. And Newman got very nervous. And they, oh, you can't, you can't, you have to receive your mail. Uh, it, it's very funny, and I and I know, I know I'm getting way off the subject now. I apologize to our viewers for that. No, I mean I guess we can wrap up our su summer smorgasbord. That's easy for you to say. Yeah, it, it took me uh, one try. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, subscribe to the Pure to Spring Software Channel. We're always trying to put this kind of content out there for you. And if you're interested in the other topics we cover, check out our new book. Our, our new book. Yeah, our new book yeah. <laughs> Chat GPT and the Law. It's a comprehensive guide to AI in law offices. Uh, it's available on our landing page, which I'm hoping will be part of the yeah, YouTube the uh, there, the description, description or whatever. And it's also available on Amazon. Otherwise, you have Larry in mind. Sincere thanks for tuning in. Isn't that right, Larry? Egg that. Let's go back. Well, okay, yeah, I get it. All right. And remember, yeah, rub it in. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, but do count your blessings. Stay safe, stay healthy, and happy. Good night, everyone. Bye bye.